In this tutorial you will learn how to randomly position different types of trees and people on certain surfaces in your rhino scene using grasshopper. Also we'll cover how to adjust their density, scale and rotation. Enjoy! Hi guys, Lazar here. Before we start, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to use Rhino and Grasshopper, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell button so you don't miss anything as we upload each week new videos about Rhino and Grasshopper specifically for architecture. Alright guys, we decided to create an extended version of one of our previous tutorials about rendering diagrams in V-Ray for Rhino because we received many requests to explain the step when you need to populate people and trees randomly on a surface. You will be able to modify type of geometry, change their position, scale, density and adjust boundary where your geometry will be positioned. So let's get started. Alright, we'll start with the positioning people inside 3D model and this is the poly surface where this model of the people will be positioned. Once we insert this poly surface using B-Wrap uh, component, right click and set uh, one B-Wrap. We'll add component B-Wrap edges in order to take out its uh, naked edges. And here we have the outline of the poly surface. Once we have um, this, you can see 22 values. We need to join them in order to create a poly surface for each naked uh, curve. So you can see we have two uh, poly lines. And these two curves we will project on XY plane. Uh, I will add component XY plane. And uh, with the component project we'll project these two curves on XY plane. I will turn off these two guys. And here we have these two poly surfaces on XY plane. And maybe I should turn off uh, this 3D model for now. Once we have these two poly lines on XY plane, we will offset them with the component offset curve. I want to offset because I don't want to position geometry on these edges. So that's why I want to create offset curve. The maximum geometry can be positioned here, not here. So if you want, you can uh, offset even more. I will keep one for now. And once we have uh, offset curve, I will create boundary. And on this surface, uh, we will create random points using component populate geometry. In the end, we should set how many random points you want to have and in this is their iteration. So once I turn on, you can see that we have uh, these points randomly positioned on the surface. If I change this iteration, we have different distribution uh, points on the surface. Okay, and now these points I want to project along Z direction on the original poly surface, which we import with the B-Wrap. And this is our original poly surface from the model. With the component project point, in the P, we'll place points on the XY plane. In the D, we set direction. Direction is uh, Z. And in G, we'll place original poly surface. Once I turn on, okay, we'll turn this off. Here we have randomly positioned points on poly surface. So we have points. Now we need to decide which geometry we want to position on these points. So here we go. In the container geometry, we will go right click and set multiple geometries. I will select all these uh, different types of uh, model of the people and import them here. So if I check the output here we have uh, six different uh, reference meshes. So each model represent one mesh. We need to decide which point of the mesh should be positioned on these distributed points on the poly surface. Basically, we will uh, find that point with the boundary box. Then we will explode this bounding box and we need to find this point. Uh, basically, it's the center point of the bottom face. So we need to find these six points and we can get them with the deconstruct B wrap and then the area will connect with the face output. And here we have six uh, points for each bounding box. And we need to find a way how to take out the bottom one. It's very easy. We are going to sort these points based on their Z coordinate. And once we sort them, the one with the smaller Z coordinate will be in the index zero. By default, uh, it's zero, but I will um, 
make it clear. Okay, I will turn off this. So for each uh, model, we have point. Now the next step is to find a way how to position each of these mesh on uh, distributed points. For that, we will use component orient. And once I go right click help, it says it allows remapping of geometry from one axis system to another. Basically, we will create XY plane for each of these points. So this is one, uh, this, is, this will be one plane. So from, from this XY plane, we will remap to another XY plane of distributed points. So we need geometry, which we want to orient. We want one set of planes and another set of planes. So first is the first set of planes should be initial planes and B is the final planes where this geometry should be moved. But there is one step in between which we need to add because uh, we have six uh, meshes. We have six points or six planes because we need to add plane here for the input A and B. So I'm going to create XY plane and I'm going to flatten because uh, uh, also this uh, list is flattened. Here we have six planes. I will move it here maybe to make it more clear. But once I connect uh, these points with the XY plane, I will explain later this step, uh, we have more than six inputs. We have actually 24 inputs because here, because we set here 24. And there is a problem which we need to solve. Why? Let me sketch here. Uh, this mesh with this origin XY plane will be positioned to this uh, target plane. Then mesh with index one will be from will be positioned from the origin point one to target uh, plane one and so on until we get to this guy. This one will be positioned from initial this initial plane to uh, this target plane. But because we don't have index six for the mesh and for the initial plane, this guy, the last one will be repeated and its origin plane will be repeated to position on the target plane, this one, and so on. So this model will be multiplied and positioned to all of these target planes. So basically in our model, we will really have, let's say this five uh, model of people, but this guy will be multiplied from six to 23. So we need to avoid it. The best way to solve this uh, problem and to have each of these mesh equal times as another one, we need to create a list of meshes to have the same index numbers as uh, this guy. So we need to have 24 indices here and here. The best way to do that is to add component longest list. So based on these inputs, it will check a list length of all these inputs and see which list has the most index numbers. In this case is the list from the input C and it will say, okay, uh, this input has 24 items and then it will adjust these two lists according to the longest list from the input. And one more important part is to set here wrap. Right click on the longest list and check the wrap. It means it will create these two lists and then multiply their indices according to index number. So index six will be this guy. Index seven will be this guy. Index eight will be this one and so on. The same logic will be applied to another list. I will show you this output and you can see that now we have a list of 24 meshes and here we will have a list of 24 initial planes. Okay, I will delete this. And once we have equal list length, 
we connect with Ori. In the A, we have mesh, which we want to populate. In the B is their initial planes and in the C is target plane. Once I turn this on, we have this model position based on distributed points on the poly surface. If we want to randomize it even more, we can add the, this part. Basically, it will shuffle this list of distributed points based on the input you set here. Zero is a not shuffle list, one is a completely shuffle, and here with the seed number you can choose iteration. Basically, you can change randomization of types of the people inside your model. And we can randomize even more with the their rotation you can see that their position in the same uh, rotation as uh, as this origin mesh i will add component rotate geometry we want to rotate we can use from the output g plane we can use from the output c here angle of rotation we can generate from the random component in the random component, we'll create range from 0 to 360. Number of angle rotation should be the same as uh, distributed points. In the S, we can choose iteration or the seed. These numbers, because right now uh, are in degrees, we need to convert into radians. This guy will connect with the A. I will turn this on, turn this off. You can see that right now these uh, guys are randomly rotated based on this component and here you can change random angles of rotation and we can randomize even more with the scale all right these guys we connect with the g uh, center of scaling will be uh, these points and the factor of scaling we can uh, choose from the random component but in this case we'll set domain from let's say 0 0.85 to 1.15. Random values should be the same as uh, this list length. And here we can change duration. Once I turn this on, you can see the difference in size of these models of people. You can adjust this domain if you want to have a bigger or smaller difference in size. And this is the last step. Here we have randomly positioned people in our model. And the same logic we'll use for the trees. Here we should pick uh, trees. Let's say in this case we have just three types of tree. Here we should set on which poly surfaces we want to populate trees. I set these two, this one, this one. All right. And same logic, uh, naked edge. Uh, project on XY plane, offset, uh, then create the surface, populate the surface, and then project on original poly surface. Once we have this uh, distributed points on poly surface, we need to set which geometry we want to populate. In these trees, find the bottom point on the center, and with the orient, we can populate them. And with the rotation at scale, we can achieve that a more realistic look. And here, if we want to add more uh, models of people, we can bump this ladder up. And if we want to have more trees instead of 16, we can adjust this slider to 40. Here we can change randomization of points. And here we can change randomization of types of trees which will be populated based on distribution points all right guys if you made this far thank you so much i really appreciate you hit the like button if you like this video consider subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell for the future videos if you want to get project files of this and all of our youtube tutorials you can do so by supporting us on patreon 
The link is in the description. You will find there how you can access to all our extended tutorials and product files. I would like to send special thanks to all our Patreon supporters. If you like what we do, please consider becoming Patreon yourself. And if you like step-by-step -step approach how to learn Rhino and Grasshopper, you can apply for our online course. First link in the description. Take care and see you soon.